Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Chaos here and I'm recording another video. This was actually a request by one of my builders uh, to learn how to make moving parts. So pretty much all you're going to need is your part, you know, um, and a script that goes inside that part. So you know, put a script inside the part and I'm going to use a part variable. I'm going to just literally call it part. Uh, script apparent, which is the part. Uh, just let me get on my knees because you know I like sitting on my knees while I'm working on stuff. But you're gonna make a while wait loop. Um, this way, it's one line of code. You don't have to put while true do, and then second line of that, you know, blah blah blah. You put a wait time there. Uh, it's actually more efficient that way. Uh, if you put a wait time. You can also just end up putting like wait one second before it does the action inside the loop again. Uh, I'll probably show that later on. But for the moving parts wise, you're going to go for i uh, equals the minimum of one, and then you know uh, just the maximum number. So I'll just go thirty and do. Now in this for loop, you're going to go. Put the part. Uh, put in the part variable. Dot C frame. I do not like typing on C frame because it's annoying. Uh, equals part. Dot C frame. Because I end up spelling it wrong sometimes. Plus vector three. Dot new. And you're going to uh, let's say I want to move the the axis. Let me just like scratch my head. Real quick. So I'm going to go 0, 0, and we'll move it negatively by 0 0.5. Um, and then I'll put weight 0 0.05, because why not? Um, just put a wait time before each movement. And then once it gets to the end of uh, you know the stopping point, I'll make it sit for 0.25 seconds, how's that? And then to make it go back to the same exact position where it started, you're going to create another for loop, the exact same numbers um, as before. Uh, your minimum maximum has to be the same number, so you want to go back to the same exact position. And so we could pretty much just copy these two lines that were in this for loop. I could just copy the entire for loop and just taking away the negative sign. And this will move it on the z-axis. Let me go to test and run the script. And as you can see, it moves it back and forth. This 3x3 three three orange grass part, beautiful part. Now if you want it to move up and down, you're going to want the part to be anchored. It has to be anchored in order for it to work. Now, um, Pretty much, uh, you're, if you want it to move up like this, uh, you're going to want to go into here and put, change all this to zero, um, and change this to 0.5 or whatever, however much you want it to move by uh, every 0.05 seconds, and um, yeah. In this case, you're going to want it to be a positive, then a negative, and you're going to run, and I'm going to run it, and it's going to go up and down, as you can see, and you can do the same thing for the x-axis, uh, it will do literally the same thing as the y-axis, I mean the z-axis, but, you know, going sideways the other direction. And you don't have to make the top value negative, you can also just, if you want to go this way, you're going to make it positive. But yeah, pretty much just the basics of making parts move. Uh, if you want the part to kill, uh, you add in like a kill script, which I'm not going to get into in this video. But this is just the basics of making a part move. Um, yeah. So this is like great for making obbies. Uh, if you want the player to stick to this, like, I mean, follow it when the just with it. That that's a little bit more work. That's a little bit different. It's kind of just 
something else. Uh, but if you want the player to be able to move up, um, that is pretty much the way to do it. Um, but other than that, this is a great little useful piece. I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, this is pretty much the basics of what I use for making the spikes move in uh, Obstacle Island and then the part that moves back and forth on the material behind this course. But yeah, hopefully you guys in, uh, found this video helpful. If you did, um, got it, helped you, I guess. Well, anyway, before I destroy everything else, uh, I'm going to end this off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, got it helpful. And I'll say that again for like a millionth time. See you guys in the next one.